Boys and girls, I'm in the kitchen today and we're going to make some salt dough. And when we've made it, we're going to roll it out and cut some shapes out of it. We're going to paint, going to cook them first in the oven so they go nice and hard. Then when they've cooled down, I'm going to paint them and we're going to hang them up and make a shape mobile. Okay, let's get cooking. Okay, so what we need today is some plain flour some salt and some water. It's as simple as that. So first thing, I'm going to measure out two cups of flour. There's one going into my bowl now. I'm going to get another one. There we go. And there's number two. Next thing I need is one cup of salt. Okay, and there's some salt going in. Now I'm going to get some water. Before I put it in, I'm going to just mix the salt and the flour around. And I'm going to pop a cup of water in and get it mixed up really well. It's just flour and salt and water. Nothing more. Dead easy. So when I've got it all pretty much combined like that, I'm going to scrape the dough off my spoon and I'm going to use my hand just to mix it all together and before I put it out on my worktop I'm going to sprinkle my worktop with a little bit of flour so that it doesn't stick okay then we're nearly ready for rolling it and cutting our shapes there we go that's a good dough great now, I'm going to get my rolling pin, sprinkle a little more flour so it doesn't stick. I'm going to put some flour in my rolling pin and I'm going to roll it out. Just like that. Fantastic. Okay, there's our dough and it's all ready now for cutting shapes. So the first one we've done is a circle shape. And then I used a pencil to make a hole so that we can hang it up. So you can see there, there's the hole that we'll be able to thread through. Next is a star. And then very carefully use a knife to do a square shape. And those are all the shapes that I ended up with. You can see them all there. Those shapes then go in the oven for about two hours at quite a gentle heat. And once they're cooled on a rack, then they're ready to paint. So here they are. I've painted them all different colours. I've got a green rectangle, a pink diamond, a white oval shape, a violet circle, a blue star and a yellow triangle. So you can use whatever colours you want for your shapes. Let's see if we can hang them up now. So I've got string and I'm threading it through where the hole is and then tie it in a little knot and there you go. We've got them all ready to hang up. Okay, to finish off, I just put my string on, tied it securely, a big long piece of string from one end to the other so that I have something to hang it with. Okay, so there's all my shapes all hanging on nice and securely. I'm going to find somewhere to put this maybe in here because if I hang it outside, the rain might ruin the salt dough shapes. So I'll find somewhere in here, I think, to hang up in the meantime. I used the rest of my dough that was left to make five buns. Not real buns that I can eat, unfortunately, as I would love to eat them, but five pretend buns. And these are five current buns. And I thought we could sing that song, Five Current Buns in a Baker's Shop. Okay, boys and girls, I don't have any children today near me that I can get to take these current buns away. 
So I'm going to use my shape pit monsters and they're going to help me, okay? Five currant buns in a baker's shop Round and fat with sugar on the top A long kinless triangle with a penny one day Bought a currant bun and took it away One, two, three, four Four currant buns in a baker's shop Round and fat with sugar on the top A long kin Mr. Square with a penny one day Bought a currant bun and took it away One, two, three Three currant buns in a baker's shop Round and fat with sugar on the top A long kin Mr. Square buns at home and sing that song and you could use your teddies couldn't you to play it or if you've got brothers and sisters you might be able to use them or mummy or daddy whoever's in the house boys and girls i hope today you've enjoyed making well looking at how to make your shape mobiles and i'm looking forward to seeing how you get on with that please send me your photographs and I'm looking forward to seeing if you make any buns. You could make a pretend bakery, couldn't you? And invite your mummy to come to your bakery and buy your buns. That would be good fun. As promised, boys and girls, I'm going to leave you today with some more photographs that have been sent in by you. Fantastic. Well done to those of you who've sent me photos this week. Please don't forget, keep them coming. I love to see them and so do your friends, okay? Take care, stay safe, bye.